Recently, photos of Donald Trump being arrested like this went viral on Twitter. And for good reason. There was large speculation that Donald Trump was going to be arrested on information that he himself put out as well as the mainstream media. There was a lot of anticipation about this and as such images that were released that day such as these images went completely nuts. Now at first look you would think oh my word it really is happening but after you give it a quick thought and scan some of these images you might realize there's a few things that are amiss. That's right, these images were created completely from AI, artificial intelligence, and they are absolutely spectacular. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what some of the new capabilities, some of the shocking capabilities that the new artificial intelligence platforms are now coming out with, what they can do, and what ChatGPT4 is now doing better than almost anybody else. So we're gonna be going over some of the incredible new capabilities, including one major one that I'm gonna tell you towards the end of this video that you are not going to believe. Now, if you like this content, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up, watch this video all the way to the end. And so if you're interested in the new artificial intelligence platforms, cryptocurrency news, and anything finance and entrepreneurship related, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, The Late Night Grind. Don't forget to click that bell notification icon, that way you'll be notified when I release a new video. All right, guys, let's jump into it. Now, before we get into some of the new capabilities that ChatGPT4 specifically is now getting into, I wanted to share a few more images of the whole Donald Trump arrest that was coming out. So of course, after the original images went viral, users went on to some of these other artificial intelligence platforms, such as Midjourney, to create these photos. Now obviously most of these are tongue in cheek and are humorous, and of course they got a lot of attention as well, piggybacking off of the viral nature of the original Donald Trump arrest videos. So you know when things like this are happening, A, it's entertaining, and B, it's a little bit scary. As a lot of people are now saying that in the near future, there may be some news that we really can't tell if it's real or not. But let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of all this new artificial intelligence capabilities, including the new image generation softwares and what I'm gonna be talking about, the chat GPT-4 models, the language learning capabilities that are absolutely insane. So the first thing I wanted to talk about specifically with chat GPT-4 is the language learning understanding and how much better it is than chat GPT-3 and just how much better it is than virtually all other AI models that are out there right now. Because at this point, it looks like a lot of other AI models seem to get confused with certain language modeling questions and prompts, whereas ChatGPT4 absolutely crushes it. Take this for example. So when we ask ChatGPT4, the band was rocking and the crowd was eating out of their hands. The AI might assume that the crowd was actually eating out of the band's hands. However, ChatGPT4 understands that this is actually a metaphor for what is going on in the concert, thus putting ChatGPT4 well ahead of the competition at this point. Now, when you're talking about prompts, writing stories, writing movies, it's incredibly important that your artificial intelligence assistant understand that. And I'm gonna be talking about how it understood it later on in this video. And now piggybacking on the understanding of languages a lot better, ChatGPT4 has an unparalleled creativity to it that almost no other platform can match at this point. And you also might think, well, artificial intelligence is actually for an input-output, it can't really be creative. Well, this is where you would be wrong. From writing poems to stories to movie plots and even music, ChatGPT4 is actually becoming more and more intelligent, even far more intelligent than ChatGPT3 regarding the creative and artistic flair that it can put into certain things. And here's a quick example of that. Imagine asking ChatGPT4 to write a story about a cat detective named Whiskers who solves crime in a world populated by animals. Not only will it create a compelling, well-structured narrative, but it'll also develop the unique characters and plot twists that keeps the user engaged. At least, this is specifically from the information that I found on the new ChatGPT4 modeling. But really, when you step back and look at it, this is just scratching the surface of what, artif of what artificial intelligence can actually do. And moving along with the lines of creativity, it's not just writing poems, stories, and music that's gonna capture the attention of the world. That is going into the gaming sector. 
Yes, as you can imagine right now, when you, talk, when you take a look at the visual capabilities of what it can produce, what some developers are using artificial intelligence for is now creating virtual worlds and virtual video games. Now, obviously, they have exploded in the past 10 years, and they're about to get even crazier. ChatGPT4's impact on gaming and, the, and virtual worlds is about to explode. It's really nothing short of astounding when you think about what they're actually using it and building with it. So listen to some of these improvements for ChatGPT4 over ChatGPT3. Right now, it has an ability to generate realistic, immersive, and dynamic virtual worlds set apart from all other AI technologies, as I've been talking about. From creating lifelike non-player characters to generating complex, ever-changing storylines, ChatGPT is a game changer. Now, now think about this. Picture a virtual reality game in which ChatGPT4 basically creates a uh, medieval world complete with total histories, a geopolitical storylines, uh, intricate political dynamics, and all of that. But each time you play, the AI will generate a completely new storyline and a completely new experience each time you hop into that game. Now, of course, when you marry that with some of the other things going on with cryptocurrencies, NFTs, you can see that the future of immersive gaming is really just beginning, and I think it's one of the more exciting things and, and possibly one of the better areas to look into in terms of possible investments. Okay, so now let's take a look at one of the chat GPT-4's most powerful and most uh, and most widely talked about use case, and that is the language learning model. Now, as we know, ChatGPT3 is a based on a language model. ChatGPT4 Chat is the new and improved version of it. And now that it knows far more than you or I about language learning, what do you think that could be used for? That's right, learning a new language using ChatGPT4 as your personal tutor. Now, here's how ChatGPT4 stands to revolutionize uh, the language learning because it has such an enhanced knowledge of structure, of grammar, of context, and understanding all of that, it would make sense that it's going to be a good tutor to teach you or I another language. In fact, it can provide more accurate uh, and more tailored understandings of a language than typical language learning programs do. And what that does is actually just make the whole learning process a lot smoother and a lot easier. Now, if you would be using ChatGPT4 to learn another language, what you would essentially be using with it, according to their explanation, is that it could help you understand context better, it can help you understand your mistakes, and even detailed explanations, and even simulate conversations with you to help you improve your speaking skills. Not a bad thing. And finally, before I get into one of the biggest capabilities of ChatGPT4, I want to talk about this final point, this final capability that ChatGPT4 now has, that is in fact scaring some people, and that is problem solving capabilities. Now on the surface, that doesn't exactly sound scary, but here's what it started to talk about when they were talking about its problem solving capabilities. It immediately went to things like solving disinformation conflicts, as well as solving more global problems such as climate change. Now, if you listen to those two things, you would think, hang on, that sounds like there's a little bit of a political bias there and you'd be right. In fact, one of the biggest complaints of ChatGPT4 and some of these other AI models is that it has a political or cultural bias. Because when you ask it to do certain things, give it certain prompts, ask it certain questions, it seems to give an answer that leans towards one side politically and not the other. Now, some people are saying, well, this is because it's learning, it's learning the information that's already available on the internet and certain things on the internet are scrubbed or memory hold and well, it's not exactly learning from a true set of circumstances, only what is available online. And of course, while there's a whole different conversation around that, you have guys like Elon Musk now talking about potentially building an AI platform to compete directly with ChatGPT and do, according to what he says, level the playing field and make it more of a proponent of free speech and not just being an artificial intelligence that is learning from a cultural or politically biased viewpoint. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Okay, so here is that cliffhanger that I was talking about from the beginning of this video. And I wanted to leave you with this. Up until this point, other than the very beginning of this video, which was the Donald Trump being arrested artificial intelligence pictures, everything else in this video was completely scripted, structured, and organized by ChatGPT4. Let me know in the comment section down below how well you think ChatGPT4 organized its thoughts. So if you wanna see those uh, Twitter posts with the Donald Trump arrest, 
with the Donald Trump arrest images as well as the follow-up images, you can go to my Twitter profile. There's a link in the description below. I have posted and retweeted at some of those pictures. Some of them are hilarious, honestly. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way to the end for smashing that thumbs up button. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.